If you are looking to level up your store performance and design, this video is perfect for you. Hi there, I am Rehab and on this YouTube channel, I share with you videos related to e-commerce, entrepreneurship and more. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the latest Shopify updates and how you can use them to create a better store for your business. If you don't know yet, in 2021, Shopify released a huge update called Shopify Online Store 2.0. And because of this update, now we can design better stores without the need to hire a web developer and without doing any coding. The first update I'm going to talk about is sections everywhere. Before Shopify Online Store 2.0, we were only able to add sections inside of the homepage. Now we can add sections in all pages, the product pages, the collection pages, even the normal pages. The sections you can add depends on the theme you are using. So if you are considering moving to a new theme, I highly recommend you to make sure that it has all the features you are looking for in your website. You can use this feature to design amazing product pages with more information and better user-friendly design. Now let's move to the update number two and it is dynamic sections. In addition to be able to add sections everywhere, now the sections you add can be dynamic. This means they can be different from a page to another. Let's take your product page as an example. Before Shopify Online Store 2.0, the dynamic elements inside of a product page were the title, the description, and the photos. Basically, everything you used to fill inside of Shopify backend where you are adding or defining new products. Well, now things are different. Now you can create as many dynamic elements as you wish and you can link to them inside of your product page templates. Same for your collection pages and your normal pages. We call those meta fields and I'm going to show you how to use them. Let's say for example, I want to add a section on my product pages where I fill in the specifications of the product. Well, obviously specifications is changed from a product to another, so I need to create a dynamic section. So the first thing you need to do is to go to Shopify. And from there, go to settings and then go to meta fields and they create a new product meta field called specifications and give it the long text format. This will create a new entry field inside of my product page editor where I can fill the specifications. Then I can go back to my theme customization section and inside my product template, add a new text block and assign my specifications meta field to it. This will create a block inside of my product page that differs from one product to another based on the information I fit. You can use this feature to create product specific sections inside of your product pages, such as maintenance guide, size guides, maybe photo reviews and so on. And you can do the same with your collection pages and your normal pages. And now moving to the update number three and it is the ability to create different page templates. Instead of sticking to one product page template or one collection page template, now you can create multiple templates and use them for your products and collections. This can be extremely helpful if you have different product types and you want to differentiate between them. Also, this feature is extremely valuable because it allows you to create amazing pages instead of the old boring Shopify pages we used to have. I am using this feature with my clients to create all sorts of pages like the About Us, the Contact Us, our mission, our team, the wholesale page and much more. And now we have reached the final update and it is the ability to add app sections and move them anywhere we wish. Well, if you have been using Shopify for a while, so most of probably you have used an app that added a section inside of your product pages and you weren't able to change its location. Maybe you have added a cross-sell app, maybe a review app, anything. Well, this is all the news because after Shopify Online Store 2.0, now we can treat our app sections in the same way we treat our normal sections. So you can move them and place them anywhere you wish inside of your product page template. So as you can see with Shopify Online Store 2.0, you can create a better store for your business without the need to do any coding or to hire any web developer. Non-Shopify Online Store 2.0 features and integrations will soon die. So I highly recommend you to move now to Shopify Online Store 2.0. And if you need my professional help, you can always DM me on Instagram and ask about the services I offer. 
Thank you for watching this video and for staying up until the end. This actually shows me how serious you are about your business. And that's why I want to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you how you can create a strong, sustainable e-commerce business. I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to make it strong and in order to be able to attract, convert, and retain more customers. So if you are interested in creating such a business, I highly recommend you to go down to the description and to sign up. It's 100% free and you don't don't need to pay any dollar. Thank you again for watching this video and before leaving don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. See you next week, bye bye.